Hey fellow tacticians, be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell that supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. And now for a reading from the Social Justice Warrior Bible with Pastor Gregory Post. Welcome fellow spiritual travelers, I'm Gregory Post, head pastor at the Eternal Living Word Transdenominational Church and Coffee House in Novato, California. And now it's time for yet another reading of the SJW Bible. Please help us fight the evils of capitalism by ordering your copy today. Standard copies are on sale now for only $120. Signed copies are now 25% off at only $300. Now let's go ahead and get into our reading, which will come from Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 through 16, which states, For the kingdom of heaven is like a government-appointed land manager, who went, after his morning Starbucks run, to hire laborers for his trendy vineyard in Napa. When he agreed to give the laborers a living wage for the day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others playing hacky sack in the marketplace. And to those he said, You, go into the government-owned means of production also, and whatever is right I will give you. And so they went. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did the same thing, but being sure to hire some minorities and gay people to meet his diversity quotas. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing around just trying to find themselves in the universe. And he said to them, why have you been standing here idle all day long? They said to him, Because we get food stamps and government housing. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. Now when the evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to the project manager, Call the laborers and pay them their living wages, starting with the last group to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each one received a living wage. And so when those hired first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the same living wage as mandated by the state of California. When they received it, they grumbled at the federal land manager, saying, These who were hired last were only here for one hour, and all they did was smoke pot and listen to indie rock. Yet you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day's work and the scorching heat. But he answered and said to one of them, Friend, I'm doing you no wrong. I'm just following the state of California's labor laws. We're mandated to pay a living wage and we can't fire people just because they don't work. Take what the government has given you and go. After all, food and housing is a human right, whether you work or not. Besides, if you made more than him just because you worked harder, that would make you unequal and all inequality is wrong. So the last shall be first, and the first shall be first too. You're all equally special. Wow, so inspiring. This has been another reading from the SJW Bible. And remember, the only truth that matters is your truth. If you're watching this because you liked this video, awesome. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. If you're a leftist that's only here to hate watch, hang on before you punch that dislike button. You see, I identify as a Hispanic woman, so if you dislike this video, that's literally violence against me and you are now guilty of a hate crime. Why do you hate beautiful trans people of color like me? What you gonna do now, Woke Brigade?